With Jesse Winchester, your Brockville Braves. Uh, Brockville Braves, only 11 games left this season, just kind of uh, disappearing on us. Four home games, including tonight. But at this juncture, the the time in the season, uh, the Braves uh, sitting atop, tied with Carlton Place. Uh, at least that uh, to date, pretty good. Yeah, we've uh, you know we've had a pretty solid season to date. We like our group. Um, we're we're trying to prep for what's hopefully going to be a long playoff run and just fine tuning some uh, some of our uh, details of our game. But you know, pretty consistent throughout the year has been our work ethic and our, our habits. So we stay we stay with that stuff. I think uh, we're, we're poised to to hopefully have a little bit of success in the postseason. We want to break uh, just uh, down in small increments the last three games. A week ago, Friday night here, it was the front end of a home-and-home home that concluded last night with a Cornwall Colts, a 3 nothing victory in that game. How was that in your eyes? I thought it was a pretty complete effort. Um, we played for the entire 60. We controlled the puck uh, fairly well. We managed it. Um, we were on top of a lot of their checks. I thought... Uh, Last night we struggled a bit. We were really good in the first, and then the game kind of got away from us. We were able to get, obviously, a big goal by Parker Casey in the third, but I don't think it was as complete an effort. So, um, you know, can't complain a whole lot. We did win, but uh, just want to be sure that um, going forward we don't have those lulls in, in, in times of games that are important. So, uh, you know, we relied on uh, Sui last night, which has been the case in a few games um, this year, and, you know, he's... That's, that's why he's our guy. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we were fortunate to get out of there 2-1. 24 hours later uh, from last Friday night, you were in Hawkesbury. The, the game before you played in Hawkesbury, if memory serves me, you played a pretty sound game. You had the game in control, and they got a lucky bounce, and it got away on you. The game Saturday night, it ended up that you guys were up 2 to nothing in that game, but you come out on the short end of a 5-4 game. Was that game a little bit all over the map? Or? Yeah, I mean, it was a very emotional game. Um, Playoff-like feel. We, we did get up uh, early 2 nothing, but, um, you know, it was a hard-fought game. There were a lot of penalties, kind of got out of hand with some fights, and uh, unfortunately um, we weren't able to... Uh, to get the win there, but we were like that's going to happen. We we played pretty well. The effort was there. Um, the compete was there, and it's two of the more heavyweight teams in the league kind of battling. And uh, that one went to, went to Hawkesbury. I think the season series ended up four one and one or something. Um, and it, it's pretty hard to sweep uh, a talented team like that. And um, you know they we packed it up and left there obviously disappointed and not winning but um, having played pretty well this is an interesting uh, again in the stretch drive here but it's kind of a little mini series coming up with the Kempville 73s they're on the outside looking in ninth place five points out of a the eighth and final playoff spot you're going to play them tonight you're going to play them Sunday and Monday and Monday I believe is a makeup game so uh, three games uh, in a few days into the Campville 73s with about 11 games left is basically their season, as Scott Dexter was alluding to. For you guys, obviously, uh, nobody can really afford to lose a few games in a row right here now. Yeah, we know they're going to be desperate. Like you said, they're fighting for their playoff lives, and uh, they believe they have a chance talking to their coaching staff uh, on the way in. So uh, we're prepared for, for their best, um, and that's what we want. We want to play meaningful games. Um, for us, it's a busy, busy stretch, obviously four games in less than five days. So it'll be uh, key to really focus in on especially good decisions with the puck, um, not forcing things, keeping things going one way so we don't have to chase pucks back into our zone and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, it's a good test for us, especially banged up a little bit. Um, but we're excited. Um, it is like a little mini playoff series, so there should be some bad blood by the end of it. But um, for us, it's just playing the right way and hopefully uh, coming out on the, the right end of a couple here. And interesting down the stretch here, 11 games left, uh, these three with the 73s, but three with uh, the Carlton Place Canadians, you guys tied for the league lead. Would you want it any other way down the stretch? No, it's tight. And, you know, uh, I think first is a goal um, of ours, but at the same time, it's not really. We're confident in our group. Um, and when we're playing the right way, 
uh, we know we're a really good team that can challenge. So um, there's bounces along the way that can go either way. But we're, we're looking forward to these three. And then obviously three big ones against uh, the big boys up the road in CP it should make for, for some exciting s- uh, pre-playoff um, hockey and uh, hope to make the most of it. But again, it's, it's just about how we play um, and our commitment to doing things properly. We do that more often than not. The wins will, the wins will be there. So. Thanks for doing this as always. Good luck tonight, Jesse. All right, thank you. Jesse Winchester, your Rockville Braves.